Hey, what's up guys? This is Ashinox. Fire Expedition on Auto, the second stage. How to get a bunch of damage, what type of hero should you be uh, using? I'll be showing my stats and my gear at the end of the video. So let's go in there. I already opened it on uh, another account. So here it is. Okay, so that's the team I'm actually using. I'll be talking about why I'm using these uh, particular heroes. So let's start by going in there first. So this boss hits really hard and uh, he's actually quite dangerous. Uh, first thing, you definitely don't want to land three debuffs on this boss because if you do so, he will transfer those debuffs on your whole team. And if he transfers defense break, that is really bad. Um, so, I mean, you know, attack break as well is really bad. Uh, this boss actually silences your whole team after removing all your buffs. So I'm using Dian, as you might have noticed, and Dian is not actually that important. Yes, you can sometimes get that attack buff in and then uh, you're going to be able to squeeze that extra bit of damage. But to be honest, like, uh, he, he just keeps on removing your buffs quite often. And if you're using, like, Angelic Momorancy, you're going to be able to heal more. And maybe your frontliner doesn't have such a good uh, survivability like my uh, Ice Crow Zet. But yeah, uh, so Angelic Momorancy can be your healer. Your frontliner, I really like uh, Crozet. I mean, he's got potential attack break on skill one. And when it comes down to debuffs, uh, not only you, uh, you have to avoid getting three debuffs, but 85% effectiveness is how you counter 100% effect resistance. So make sure, make sure you have that on your debuffers. Like Tarnar Guard, is a big deal. Uh, defense break will up your uh, damage output by a ton. And uh, yes, so let's talk about Tarnar Guard. Why is he so good for this? Well, he's very obtainable. He actually, when he triggers a dual attack, he boosts the combat units of the whole team by 25%. And the boss, while the boss is in uh, offensive posture, uh, he will uh, boost your combat units uh, boosting effects by 300%. That's why if you trigger a dual attack with Tornar Guard, you can get uh, a lot more damage in if you get lucky with uh, that. You could be using uh, Hero to trigger a dual attacks as well with uh, Tornar Guard, but he needs to be built with high attack, high crit damage, and slow, so with 85% uh, effectiveness too. So it's not a build that is viable for Wyvern, so I, I would like to just avoid that because I use my Tornar Guard on high effectiveness uh, speed. Uh, for, for Wyvern, so he can actually land Defense Break and Junker Dog, 5 Star Artifact uh, on him to land Burn as well. So that's perfect. We're getting quite a few resists on his uh, skill 1 or it's actually not triggering. So some runs might be uh, in the 1 million range. Uh, some other runs might be a bit lower than that. It really depends. So why do I use Kisei and who can you replace her with? Well, Kisei, I turn off her skills. She's on uh, Dust Devil and she seems to be doing all right. I tried her on Aliha's Knife and it does penetrate defense, but when defense breaks already on the boss, it doesn't boost the damage by that much. And I tried her on Portrait as well. But I mean, I do like Dust Devil. Just turn off her skills and it, it seems to be working just fine. But... 70% 70, uh, uh, 70 more damage if you attack a target with a buff, but keep in mind, the thing that you see on the boss right now is not actually a buff, so it doesn't actually boost her damage. So who you can replace Kisei with? Well, Seaside Bellona, I do recommend that you turn off her skills. You can replace uh, you know, Kisei with uh, Chloe, can work as well. She does have a debuff, so make sure you don't hit three debuffs. Uh, maybe you don't want Crozet in the front. Uh, maybe you don't have effectiveness on him. If you bring Tarnar Guard, that's going to be three debuffs. Uh, you could be using Sez once again. That's unhealable. So make sure that, uh, you know, you are not hitting three debuffs on the boss. Um, I mean, you could be using Karen. And four star, very, very strong hero, amazing damage. And uh, yeah, so that's definitely another uh, viable choice right there. But really, it's about a single target damage dealer that is Ice Element. And your whole team should be Ice. It's going to make things much simpler in terms of like how much damage you receive. And you can deal more damage as well when you are using Ice Heroes. So that's pretty much it, right? Uh, luck is important. And this is definitely... Expedition is a team game. So like it, you don't have to worry about like 
soloing the whole stage uh, level two just like invite your friends and your guild members have this thing running on auto so you don't waste time and that's it i mean you just uh, gonna just make sure you get enough points so uh, you know uh, you can carry a few players in the team but you can see here the damage breakdown my tarnar guard you know he's not dealing that much damage so i'll be showing my gear right now and yes kise she does have quite a bit of uh great gear thing is you cannot use uh daydream joker so keep that in mind daydream joker deals damage based on the target's max health and the boss is immune to that so yeah and the boss is immune to combat readiness uh reducing effect so that's why i turn off the skills of tarnar guard that's why i turn off the skills of uh of cruel Z because i want to have the attack break potentially i don't want i cannot push back the cr of the boss with his skill three anyways okay so kise she's plus 15 skill ups and that's her stats uh on the uh, does devil so that is her gear and uh if you're using a single target damage dealer yes uh, i would go with a speed set and a crit set or well if you have a hero like if you're gonna be bringing like karen maybe you want some effectiveness but to be honest like you're gonna be losing stats for uh, more uh, damage so maybe you want a dedicated like defense breaker but if she's able to land defense break that's pretty sweet having two heroes that can land defense break will make your run more consistent so uh you could be using seaside Bellona, but mine is built tanky and she's on ring or special drink so it wouldn't be the best because i tried her and i prefer kisei it's just much better in terms of single target damage dealing uh, as well as alexa Alexa, I mean, she's not built properly for this. Uh, actually, yeah, I would turn off her skill so she attacks twice. And I would put an artifact on her so she can deal uh, more damage. Uh, actually, I guess you could put Dust Devil on her. Uh, maybe you can put Portrait or uh, an artifact. Ellie has Knife, maybe. But here is the stats of my Tarnar Guard. You can see his speed almost 200. He has way too much effectiveness. You only need 85%. More than that is a waste. Less than that will reduce your chance to actually land Defense Break. And you definitely want to have a high uptime on your Defense Break. It's definitely unfortunate when you get you get it to be resisted so you saw that his damage was actually quite low uh in wyvern i rely on daydream joker with his crit damage to deal as much damage as possible but you can see his attack is so low even though his crit damage is pretty high because that's that's a wyvern build right there and his skill one has 75 percent chance to defense break for one turn it's not a two turn defense break so there's also that uh that is unfortunate so i'll be going over uh you know other heroes you could be bringing for your single target damage dealer and uh hit us up in the comment section with uh what kind of like team you're running so this is my crozet uh he is a uh, very tanky he's slow though and his effectiveness is only 16 percent. so i can't rely on him to uh, land attack break too much he has to really be lucky to actually land it and sort of azira actually uh, makes him very very bulky so that's great easier to heal so you could have angelic momorancy to heal up instead of uh, dn but this is my dn and her stats to be honest like nothing crazy i mean her speed is pretty high so she can cycle faster and he uh, she has cr uh, boosting on skill one so if you have that fully skilled up you can get when the boss is in offensive uh you know state you can get uh even more combat unless it's getting boosted by 300 percent. so <clears throat> there's that to uh to keep in uh, mind and uh, you could be using angelica as well it's just the barrier is going to get stripped so uh keep that in mind and uh yes uh who else did i did i for uh, forget someone uh Kise? no that's it i shown everyone so who could you be using instead of uh Kise as your damage dealer let's just look at it real quick so uh you could be using says but the drawback is a debuff that is uh useless and uh, that gets closer to three debuff and uh I don't like that, but you could be running him. If you only have defense break with uh, uh, the unhealable, then it's going to work. Maybe he doesn't even have effectiveness uh, built on him, so there's that. But he might be like really lucky and land it. Uh, you can use Chloe. She's got a debuff on her skill too, though. You can use Luna. You're going to deal a ton of damage. Sigrid, no, because she deals too many debuffs. It's not going to work. Luluka, uh, she's like buffing, so, so she, she won't deal like maximum damage. You could use her and turn off her skills, actually 
and you're going to be able to uh, deal quite a bit of damage, but you need to stack that skill 3 to deal more damage overall, so maybe not the greatest of choices. Uh, who else? Seaside Bologna turned off her skills. Uh, you can be using Karen, uh, and she's going to be de dealing a ton of damage. Actually, I'm curious about how Karen would perform. If I had her plus 15 skill ups, I would be using her. Clarissa, you know, uh, defense break for two turns. You could be using her, but she's mostly for AoE. Actually, uh, you would have to turn off her skill absolutely because uh, if she lands bleeding with skill three, that would be uh, a disaster. So yeah, keep that in mind. For your frontliner, I would say that a Ice Knight would be the best because Ice, you take less damage. Knight, because uh, you will take much less damage if you have a Knight in the front. So any Ice Knight works. To be honest, I do recommend Rose. Uh, probably over all of them uh, then I think maybe Rose number one and then it would be like Tywin uh, and then it would be um, Crozet he's got the attack break better stats than uh, Basque so Rose because she's got attack buff she's got combat attuneness boosting and she uh, you know applies barrier and she boosts combat attuneness as well with this thing and she's got the defense buff for herself here when her health is 50% or lower for damage dealer you could be using uh, commander lorena as well uh, you don't have to have ice damage dealers let us know in the comment section who you've been using but to be honest like commander lorena would be a solid choice and in terms of like top single target damage dealer uh, i would go ice for sure and it would be i would probably say that it's karen karen would deal insane damage plus the extra chance of defense break uh, I feel like that that's that's the better choice. But let us know in the comment section how your experience has been, you know, uh, and which team composition you're running, what kind of like uh, damage you're getting. I'm thinking General Purgis, not in the front, of course, because you need a knight in the front, an ice knight, so you don't get destroyed. But General Purgis, if you uh, put him in the back, right, uh, you're getting combat units with his exclusive equipment. You can get 18% CR for the whole team. When the boss is in offensive state, uh, he's boosting CR pushing effect by 300%. So you are silenced, but uh, this will happen. It's like Tarnar Guard when he triggers dual attack, it can work. And he's going to have the attack buff as well sometimes. So I, I feel like this could be a uh, viable hero for the back. Let us know if you try General Purgis and how... Uh, how's your score? Do you feel like he's impactful? Let us know in the comment section. That's how I run it and I hope this was helpful to you guys. Uh, let us know what type of team you actually run, what kind of score you are getting on auto because on manual you can just be using Tornar Guard with uh, heroes that trigger dual attack and during offensive state you can just uh, get 100%. Like you keep on getting combat trueness with Tornar Guard every time you trigger a dual attack. So, uh, But it's manual and it's not uh, realistic because I mean Tornar Guard wouldn't be built that way unless you're going to be using two Tornar Guard, one for Waver and one for that. And uh, to be honest, like Expedition finished quite fast and it's a team game. So, I mean, just invite your friends, your guild members and just like have them contribute as well. And it's going to be all good. I mean, you don't have to to worry too much about uh, one shotting the whole thing uh, by yourself. Because like I said, it's a team game. But anyways, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Like, comment and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon for like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And check out my other videos. They are on the screen. Uh, you can check uh, a bunch of videos in my description as well or the pinned comment. Um, check my second YouTube channel, uh, Astronox Gameplay. It's showing up on the screen now or you can check it in the description or the pinned comment and uh, or press the I at the top right. So if you want more Epic 7 uh, gameplay videos, check that second channel of mine. But that's it for this one. Good luck with all you do. Peace out for now.